So in this assignment, you're going to have to recreate a house scene, and this will be like a final product. And the only thing we haven't been over is how to use the material editor. So I created a box already, and I want to show you how to put a texture on that box. If you go out to Google and you type any type of like window texture or anything you're looking for, roof texture, you'll find tons of textures you can use. Now, when you're searching for it, whichever one you choose, make sure that you download it as a JPEG. And in this case, this one is. All right, so we have our texture. It's very easy to put a texture on a box. Old ways, you would have to right click, convert it to an edible poly. You don't have to do that anymore, but it won't hurt if you wanna go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna bring up our slate material editor. Once you open it one time, M is the quick key for this. If you haven't done it already, make sure to go rendering, render setup, and make sure to go from Arnold to Scanline. This is going to be old school way of doing this. All right, now it's very easy to get a texture on this box. We're going to select that box, right click materials, Scanline standard, move it out of the way here, double click on bitmap. There's our texture. We're just gonna click open and normally it'll put it in the middle of the map. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. We're gonna line this up and all we need to do now is connect the two. So I'm gonna grab from there to there, connecting the output to the diffuse and then we just right click on the top here and go assign to selection and let's see what it looks like now. Now we have a texture on our box. So you're gonna create a scene with a plane in the background plane here with a hair and fur modifier and then just create all these different individual pieces with a pyramid and boxes and so forth to create your scene and that's basically how you do a material on an object thank you